Hey everybody and welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal, and today with me, Dr. Heather. We're gonna take off where we left off the last time we were together. So a little over a month ago, per your guys' request, we went over the physical exam of the head and neck. So Dr. Heather, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna continue on down the body to the heart, the lungs, and the abdomen. All right, so I feel like we should just jump right into it. What do you think? Yep. I'm gonna give you the choice again. Do you wanna be the patient or do you wanna be the doctor? The patient. Okay. <laughs> Teach me. Okay. Yeah, I think you know how to do this. <laughs> All right, same as last time. If you have any interruptions, let me know. So after the head and neck, I usually start with the heart. Order doesn't really matter, but that's just what I do. What do you do? I agree, I work my way down. It's yeah. easier not to forget something. Yeah. One thing you might notice when your doctor listens to your heart is that we don't just listen to one spot. There's actually four different spots that we listen to, and we might even go back and take a repeat listen to one of the spots. Dr. Heather, what are those four different spots for? They specifically are listening to the opening and closing of valves right. in the heart. Yep, so there are four valves in the heart, so that's what we're listening to. Here we go. Well, even I just felt awkward staring at the camera while she was listening, but that's the best way for her to hear the heart sounds. Yes, when you are completely silent, I can hear everything I need to, and when you talk, it echoes like crazy through this and we can't hear anything. It's awful. And when the camera was off, Dr. Heather was saying, also, you don't need to breathe deeply during this because a lot of people think as soon as we put this on their chest, they need to start taking deep breaths but really, we're listening to your heart. We're not listening to your lungs yet. And usually I tell people, you can just breathe normally. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear anything when you were listening to my heart? Yeah, your heart sounds. <laughs> what were you listening for when you were listening to my heart? <laughs> I'm just going to have a whole compilation at the end of you saying, oh, what were you listening for? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. What were you listening for? Well, that's a great question, Dr. Heather. So when we listen to somebody's heart, we're listening for the rate. Should be below 100 and above 60 is a normal rate. Some athletes have lower heart rates, and that's fine. Uh, rhythm. So we're looking for a regular rhythm. It should beat just like this. If it's all funky, then we know that there's something called an arrhythmia, and then we might want to look further into it. And we're also listening to, for any murmurs or any other sounds that shouldn't be there. Did I miss anything? It sounds pretty thorough. All right, cool. <laughs> so what's the next part of our physical? <sighs> My lungs. Dun, 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 reporting for duty. <laughs> so when we're listening to your lungs, again, we're gonna be moving the stethoscope around. Why is that, Dr. Heather? Well, for two reasons. One, the lungs are pretty big, and two, the lungs have multiple lobes. We gotta hear them all. Gotta catch them all. Anyways, this is the part where you can take deep breaths. But I will tell you that before. All right, Dr. Heather, we're gonna take some deep breaths. Some parts you can only hear by listening on the front, so we're gonna have you take two more big deep breaths. Very good, your lungs are super clear, Dr. Heather. The most beautiful lungs I've ever listened to. Thank you. <sighs> Am I boring you, Dr. Heather? Is this not an invigorating physical? So in the lungs, we're listening for obviously any sounds that shouldn't be there. It should just sound like air going in and air going out. What are some of the different sounds that we can hear? I feel like I'm, I'm quizzing you. <laughs> Wheezing, crackles, Bronchi. Yeah, so basically anything that doesn't just sound like air going in and out. So if we're hearing something like wheezing, sometimes that's all over the place. Sometimes if someone has pneumonia, we'll just hear something like at the bottom of one of the lungs. So that's why it's important to listen everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 
in med school, we learned something called percussion and I've never done it. Well, I, I lied. I have done it, but I've never needed to do it in clinic, but you can like tap on the lungs and um, apparently if you're good enough at it, you can tell where there, it's like denser and you can hear pneumonia or feel or hear. Yeah, hear pneumonia. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Not very often at all. Under the abdomen? I think we're gonna have to get you on the futon for this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the abdomen is best evaluated with the patient laying down. Usually I would not be sitting on the same bed as them, but here we are. This is what we gotta work with, so. Um, usually the table's not on the floor. <laughs> right, the table, it's usually at least like this high, so I can stand and evaluate your abdomen, so. Anyways, so the first thing your doctor might do is pull out their stethoscope. And you might think it's weird. Why is my doctor listening to my stomach? But we're actually listening for bowel sounds, essentially how your food is moving through your intestines and stomach. So how many quadrants are there? Well, I usually listen to four quadrants. Yeah, quad means four, it's four. Oh. <laughs> so we divide the stomach into quadrants, left upper quadrant, right upper quadrant, right lower and left lower. So I'm gonna take a listen to each of those spots. Sounds gurgly. So when I listen to a little kid's stomach, I always tell them I can hear their breakfast. <laughs> and they love it. Big hit. Yeah. <laughs> but really, I hear your lunch, I do. <laughs> Dr. Heather had steak for lunch and I hear it. <laughs> if we don't hear any sounds in a certain spot, that's super concerning. Because why? The bowel obstruction. Right, so if your bowel is blocked and nothing is going through, it's gonna be quiet and so concerning, especially if it's accompanied by pain. So the next thing I'm gonna do is press on her stomach and we call that palpation. And so I'm gonna press in all those same spots I just listened to and basically what we're looking for is any pain or tenderness, any organs that feel enlarged. That's about it, right? Yeah. Okay. So up here on the right upper side, that's where the liver and the gallbladder are. So you want to press under there. The liver is mostly protected by the rib cage, so you really got to get under there to feel the liver. But if it's enlarged, it comes below the rib cage, so we can feel it. And underneath the liver, that's where the gallbladder hides. She's not having any tenderness, it looks like. You can usually tell. Right in the middle is where your esophagus connects to your stomach, and also your pancreas is in that area. So when we're pressing here, if you have any tenderness there, that's kind of what we're thinking. And also your stomach is kind of right in that area too, going off to the left side. Upper left side, you have your spleen and her spleen does not feel big to me. It's hard to feel unless it's enlarged in something like mono. Um, also on the upper sides, way in the back are the kidneys. Those are also mostly protected by the rib cage. You usually can't feel them, shouldn't feel them. Mm -hmm. Down in the lower spots, obviously right in the middle is the bladder um, and Heather, she has a uterus and so that's in there as well. And then on the sides, we got the appendix that we always worry about on the right side and her ovary and on the other side is her colon and her other ovary. So those are the general things we're feeling for. And she does not seem to be having any pain and she didn't get ticklish, so we're good. That was a good explanation. Thank you. You're welcome. Laying down high five. <laughs> ah, better than no high five. Ugh. All right, guys, that's all we have for you. That is the heart, the lungs, and the abdomen exam. Anything to add? I don't think so. Good job. All right, cool. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below. No. <laughs> no. We hope you enjoyed the that's video. That's my line. So today we're going to switch it up. Okay. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't, and, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time. There's four different... <laughs> Ow! I'm cutting the USA. Go lay down. Down. Good girl. Good girl, Rossi. <laughs>